Hello, my name is Corey Kirschman. I'm the owner of Kirsch's Outdoor Products and I'm the creator of the Track Series of Maps. I created the Track Series of Maps for myself as well as all those sportsmen out there who need an all-around map. Not just a hunting map, not just a road map for traveling, but something that can be used for virtually any outdoor activity. It's like combining a BLM map, a Forest Service map, a road map, maybe a county atlas, a state game and fish or DNR map, all together live on our GPS. And the beauty is, because it is on a GPS, we can work with the zoom levels to increase and decrease detail as you zoom in or zoom out, that way not overwhelming the device or the user and being able to allow the person to utilize all of that rich data. A tracks map is an all-around sportsman's map. So think of the word tracks, and a T in tracks will stand for travel. You always have to get to somewhere whenever you're talking about an outdoor adventure. Roads, for instance, your city roads, highways, rural gravel roads, forest roads, even your two-track roads, you have to get back to the very remote areas. Also a travel, sometimes that includes trails, such as your hiking trails. So roads are a major part of the tracks experience. The R in tracks are for resources, and there's a variety of different resources out there. Some of your main resources, for instance, are water resources and land resources. So for water, your lakes, rivers, even your small wetlands. And for your different lands that are out there, for instance, your public lands, such as your parks and your forest areas. Well, along with the resources, you also need access to those resources. So from that standpoint, what's public and what's private? When you move into private ownership also, how about your different sections and who owns those sections? So your section lines and your township ranks and section numbers. And in some states, it even includes parcel boundaries and those parcel owners. Some other access information is what is wilderness lands. That's a very key point in many states, as well as your different game management units to make sure you are shooting your species of game in the right unit according to the laws of your state. One of the key features of Tracks Maps is the inclusion of different public lands. This includes types such as Army Corps of Engineer, Bureau of Land Management, Bureau of Reclamation, Department of Defense, State and National Forest, Grasslands, National Wildlife Refuges, National Parks, State Parks, State Trust Lands, Tribal Lands, Walk-In Access Programs in various states, Waterfall Production Areas, as well as Wildlife Management Areas. And the X in Tracks is for Extra, and these are all the extra features that were added to the map to make it an all-around sportsman's map including things like points of interest, your cities, campgrounds, springs, wells, swamps, wetlands, and much more. And all together, these different elements and more make a Tracks map. Many of the Garmin versions also have a Plus version, so Tracks Plus. The Plus is the exact same map with the addition of 24K Topo. So this includes your land elevation contour lines with the map. The most common question that I get is, why are there two cards in every package? So as I go ahead and open up the package itself, inside you will see a microSD card and an SD adapter. Now the microSD card would be put in a newer Garmin GPS just like this, and away you go. On the older style that requires an SD card, you would take the microSD card out, you would slide it into the SD adapter, and this is what would be inserted into the GPS. To load the map into the GPS, you simply insert either the microSD card or the microSD and SD adapter combination. In this case, I'll put it in a newer style Garmin. Make sure that sliding lock is secure. That's probably the most common question I get for a map not working properly or not reading. I insert my batteries back into the GPS, close my cover, flip the unit over, and turn it on. And that's all there is to installing a tracks map on a Garmin GPS. As it boots, it's going to tell me the base map that's in the unit. It's also going to tell me the Kirsch's Outdoor Products map is loaded, and now my tracks map is ready to be viewed on this GPS. Now the rest of this demonstration will be done in an automotive GPS because the screens are so much bigger. One of my favorite demonstrations is to show exactly how much detail I'm adding to a GPS. 
Now I've switched over to an automotive GPS because they typically have a lot more detail. But as you're looking at this, I have one lake over here and one lake over here. I'm showing no roads. I'm in North Dakota at this point in time. Just by inserting my card on the side and waiting a few moments, my information is going to automatically appear. Now, same lake, but now look at everything else that's appeared. All these minor lakes are showing up. The wetlands are showing up in here. My public lands are showing up. My, my main roads, even my minor roads are starting to show up in here just by inserting that tracks map. If I zoom in even further, I'll get down into the detail. I can click on this land. It says that's plots. That's private land open to sportsmen. That's a walk-in access program in North Dakota, private land open to public hunting. Now, if I zoom in even further, my section lines will begin to appear. That's these purple lines that you see here. And if I go right into the middle of the section and keep on zooming, now here's my township range and section number. In this case, township 136 north, range 69 west, section 6. And I can now go to my county office and find out who owns that land, or if I have a county plat book, I can look up that information as well. All of this right here in my GPS. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to the western part of North Dakota, an area called the Badlands. It's very popular for hunting. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the National Park area here. And you'll start to see things like trails appear. As I go ahead and touch the trail, you'll see it pops up and tells me a trail name. My rivers are showing up here as well as all the normal detail I would typically see in other areas of the state as well. From a hunting perspective, a very key element is knowing what hunting unit or game management unit that you are in to make sure you are harvesting your game in the correct unit. I just move my map over here to another area of the map, touch the screen, and it tells me in this case I'm in unit 4C. And that would be vital, for instance, when I'm in North Dakota to make sure I'm shooting my deer in the correct zone. Your GPS will function as it always did. Your tracks, trails, waypoints, all of that's the same. I do want to show you one setting you can adjust to either increase or decrease the detail of the information on the GPS. So I'm going to go under Setting. I'm going to choose Map. I'm going to choose Map Info. And that navigation varies on your Garmin GPS. And you can turn these layers off and on. I have a topo layer, a roads major and minor layer, a detail sections and wetlands, water, owners, and land. Now this information can vary on a state by state basis, but I can come in here and for instance, if I was going elk hunting in the morning, I have topo on and now maybe I want to go turkey hunting in the afternoon and I don't want topo lines anymore. I just simply turn that off and now that feature doesn't appear. This allows you to customize your map and increase or decrease your detail depending on your outdoor activity. Now this feature exists on almost all Garmin's except for the latest Montana and eTrex versions have removed this functionality from the GPS specifically, but this will work on the majority of Garmin GPSs. Tracks maps are available for many different GPSs and other devices, including Garmin GPSs, Lowrance and Magellan, an Android device, and Windows PC computers. The state availability does vary depending on the different type of device, so please check KOutdoorProducts.com for the information about the availability of your state for your specific device.